पॉलिमसिलन ट्रेड्स की एक बहुत पिकुलर करेक्टरिस्टिक है दैट इज स्पेसिफिक टाइप ऑफ सेल्स व्हिच आर कॉल्ड एज नेमेटोसिस्ट और ये वो सेल्स हैं व्हिच आर अ सॉर्ट ऑफ एडाप्टेशन और अ मॉडिफिकेशन थ्रू द प्रोसेस ऑफ एवोल्यूशन और इनका पर्पस जो है दैट इज टू कैच द प्रे एंड द डिफेंस मैकेनिज्म ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज्म तो डिफेंस मैकेनिज्म का एवोल्यूशन जो है वो फर्स्ट टाइम इस ग्रुप में इन वर्टिब्रेट्स के इस ग्रुप के अंदर जो है वो हमें नजर आता है सो दीज नेमेटोसिस दे आर मेड अप ऑफ कैप्सूल लाइक स्ट्रक्चर विच इज फिल्ड विद फ्लियड और ये जो कैप्सूल है इट कंटेन्स अ क्वाइल्ड होलो ट्यूब तो इफ यू लुक एट दिस इमेज तो यहां पर वी कैन सी दैट दिस इज दैट पर्टिकुलर सेल या वो कैप्सूल है विच इज कॉल्ड एज नीडो साइट and these nidocytes they have those specific cells which are called as nematocyst aur ye nidocytes they are covered with an operculum or nematocyst they are hidden inside these nidocytes jab bhi uh, when it is required ke cell jo hai wo apna function perform kare lid jo hai wo open hoti hai aur uh, nematocyst jo hai they contain a specific or modified type of cilia which is coiled around this structure और जैसे ही नेमेटोसिस्ट जो है वो फंक्शनल होता है और वो कंट्रक्शन के थ्रू बाहर निकलता है ये सीलिया जो है इसमें से डिस्चार्ज होते हैं सो हाउ दीज नेमेटोसिस्ट दे परफॉर्म देयर फंक्शन वी अंडरस्टैंड इट विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस वीडियो लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट द स्टिंगिंग प्रोसेस इन डिटेल अ ब्रश ऑफ योर स्किन विद अ टेंटिकल इज एनफ टू सेट द स्टिंगिंग मैकेनिज्म ऑफ मिलियंस ऑफ सेल्स इन मोशन The skin, as we see it here magnified 5000 times, gives off a natural substance which when coming in contact with a stinging cell is collected by a sensor on the cell. The sensor then decides whether the contact is with another tentacle or a potential food source, our skin. The sensor passes the information up to the body of the cell, which triggers an enormous build up of pressure within the cell. And when pressure reaches 200 atmospheres, the coil, as we saw earlier, now turned dark, is fired, and penetrates the skin at 40,000 g's. The toxic dart then spreads the poison throughout the skin, much like a multi-headed poisonous arrow. Now imagine this process happening with millions of stinging cells. The result, as you might guess, inflammation and a great deal of pain. तो इस तरह से नेमेटोसिस जो है वो इस ऑर्गेनिज्म को डिफेंस जो है वो प्रोवाइड करता है अगेंस्ट एनी थ्रेट सेकेंडली इन्हीं नेमेटोसिस्ट के थ्रू जो टॉक्सिन रिलीज होती है दैट टॉक्सिन हेल्प्स टू पैरालाइज देयर प्रे एंड देन दैट ऑर्गेनिज्म कैन कैप्चर दैट फूड नेमेटोसिस्ट के साथ साथ एक और इम्पोर्टेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक विच हैज बीन फाउंड इन फाइलम सिलेंट्रेटा दैट इज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ ऑल्टरनेशन ऑफ जनरेशन तो यहां पर वी हैव टू टाइप्स ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन ए सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन भी है और देन देर इज सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन लेकिन ये दोनों जो फॉर्म्स हैं विच आर द वन फॉर्म विच इज डूइंग ए सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन द सेकंड फॉर्म विच इज डूइंग द सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन दे आर दे आर परफॉर्मिंग इन अ फॉर्म ऑफ अ साइकिल तो ये एक ये यहां पर हमें दो जनरेशन जो है उनकी ऑल्टरनेशन नजर आती है सो द वन generation has been produced by asexual reproduction then it would reproduce sexually it would produce gametes gametes would fuse and they will give us an other generation which will produce asexually so uh, that form which is um, uh, two types ki jo hai wo yahan pe hame body forms milti hain which one is called as polyp and the second is called as medusa so uh, the polyp form is that form which is reproducing asexually Uh, with the help of uh, the process which is called budding iski jo example hai that is uh, hydra aur yahi jo hydra hai iske iski jo asexual reproduction hai uske result mein jo form produce hoti hai that uh, form is called as medusiform and the example of medusiform is jellyfish and now these jellyfishes they uh, would reproduce sexually and uh, this process would continue and it is called as alternation of generation so to study that how this alternation of generation is functioning in polyp and medusa we watch this video clip hi i am christina and today i'll talk about jellyfish jellyfish are marvelous creatures with a gelatinous body it's easy to recognize jellyfish they have a convex portion called umbrella 
with numerous tentacles hanging from its margin. The manubrium is a tubular structure hanging from the center of the umbrella, ending with an opening which acts as both mouth and anus. The jellyfish of this video belong to the phylum Cnidaria and the class Cyphozoa. The word Cnidarians originates from Greek and means nettle. This name is referred to their ability to inflict painful stings by means of a stinging organ called nidosis, contained in the epidem. This picture shows numerous nidosis on the surface of a jellyfish tentacle. These organs contain a colder thread, often bearing spines. Here, discharged nidosis and averted thread are shown. The nidosis discharge is a trigger, for example, when the human skin or a prey are in contact with the tentacle. The thread is ejected and penetrates in the victim, and the toxin is injected in its tissues. How do jellyfish reproduce? Let's see the moon jelly life cycle. The life cycle of Cnidarians shows two main stages, the polyp and the medusa or jellyfish. The polyp lives attached to the bottom while the jellyfish is free swimming. The polyp presents a mouth and tentacle direct upward, while in jellyfish they are direct downward. This video shows a polyp a few millimeters high. The polyp waits for an imprudent prey, for example a small crustacean. As in jellyfish, when the prey is in contact with the polyp tentacles, the nidosis discharge and the prey is captured and eaten. Polyps produce other polyps by means of longitudinal division of the body, or giving rise a dilatation along the body called bud. The bud grows and develops mouth and tentacles. Later, it detaches from the first polyp, originating a new individual. This reproduction form is defined asexual. Similarly, the polyp gives rise to a young jellyfish. The polyp, or better, the cyphopolyp, forms several septa along the body and tentacles disappear. The polyp distal portion results divided in several dishes and this stage is called strobila. The strobila may change color while the dish margin becomes lobated and the dishes start to pulsate. The dishes detach from the strobila giving rise to a young jellyfish called Ephira. Here we can see a group of three just released Ephira. The Ephira are driven by current and undergo a series of morphological changings, such as the tentacle development and size increase. Within a few weeks they become one centimeter wide jellyfish. Within next months the jellyfish grows and is able to reproduce. There are male and female jellyfish that respectively produce sperm and eggs. The male releases sperm into the water that reaches the female gonads, fertilizing the eggs. The fertilized egg releases a free-swimming larva called planula. This kind of reproduction is defined sexual. The larval stage swims and finds a good place to settle, therefore it originates a new polyp. The main steps of the life cycle are recapitulated in this picture. The polyp produces other polyps by division or budding. Polyps start to strobilate. Many septa are visible along the body and tentacles disappear. Young jellyfish called Ephira are released. The Ephira grow and become adult jellyfish able to reproduce sexually. Female and male gametes merge and the fertilized egg releases a free swimming larva. Later the larva settles on the bottom and originates a new polyp.